What's up everybody? I'm Derek. This is Rocking E-Forge. Today, I'm getting back into my chess set build, and I'm going to be tackling the most challenging piece that I've made yet. The Knight. Now, if you're just joining my channel for the first time, I've already made the pawn, the rook, and the bishop. And so far, I really like them. They're very simple. They all have a square base. They're all forged using square tapers and fullers and fairly basic techniques. But obviously, the knight is a little bit more of a complex shape. Forging a horse's head is going to be a little more complicated than forging the square tapers and the simple geometry seen in the other pieces. We're just going to get right to it and see how this turns out. plan's gonna be to thin this down so it widens out and then make the horse's head in the mane and it should just hopefully blend right into the taper and look pretty nice. Next step, we'll come to the near edge of the anvil and we'll get the jawline and the cheek. I would say so far so good, but that looks huge to me. I might be able to cut off the nose and reforge it in to shorten that face, because otherwise that seems really long. All right, so most of the time you would fuller in the main on one side, but a chess piece has to look nice on both sides. So I came up with this idea and we're hoping it works out. What I learned just for making that one is that I need to make the head smaller, but also that I didn't like the way the mane was shaped after bending the head over to my intended position for it. So for this next iteration, I'm gonna bend the head over before I fuller in the mane, and that should give me the opportunity to take a look at the head shape and the head size before I do extra work, and give me the opportunity to put the mane in where I want it after I've already bent it over.
right first. I'm just gonna eyeball it, no pun intended. If you enjoyed this video, please drop a like, leave a comment, hit that subscribe button, ring that notification bell, and we'll see you on the next one.